today I'm going to show you how to make a signature using Pikachu, one of these, and the logo. File, new. I like to use 400 by 150, it's a pretty good size. Not too big, not too small. Alright. First, you want to drag your render onto your signature. The new layer created. Hit control and, and the minus key to bring it down. Hit sh hold shift when you are resizing your render so it does not out of shape it and make it all wacky and crap like that. Alright. Now go to your first layer, go to your brush, and use a pretty hard brush. Get it about 80 pixels. Yeah, that's about right. And then go down to your colors, find the darkest color on your render, which would be one right there. Make sure you're on your first render, and then drag through. Then just get darker. Darker again. Alright, now find the brightest color on your render, probably the yellow on, its, on Pikachu's tail, and go through. Then probably go back this way. Alright, there. Then go to your smudge tool. This is a special made brush that I got from a guy on YouTube. and. Basically, all you want to do is go through here and just do this. Smudge it all down. Alright. Now, go to your, your Pikachu layer. And then hit Control J until it says Layer Copy to copy to the three where you have four pictures hide your first one go to layer two copy change it to linear dodge then and then put it down to about 75 percent then also take your smudge and do like this Go to layer 2, copy 2, put that on, color dodge. Put it down to about 50%, just estimating here. And then do the same exact thing. Just blur it, or smudge it, whatever. Alright, layer 2, copy 3. All The only thing you really want to smudge on this one is the bottom toward his tail and his feet like this pretty much like that and it's starting to look better already now you want to take your brush tool find put it about 350 pixels take the hardness all the way down to 0% and make it black and white so it's like this and then take and go on the corners, all the way down, or on the other corner. Kind of like this. Go down, go back up, here. Alright, then you're adding depth. Depth. Now switch to white and put it somewhere up here. Only click once. Like this. Alright. Now. You're done with the Pikachu layer, so you can close that out. 
now go to your this kind of like a C4D not really these are a lot better you can look them up on Google they're called I'm not really sure how to say it but uh yeah I'll put I'll put what they're called in the description of the video and then just move it around to your on your on Pikachu or wherever you want and then change it to lighten and it takes all the black away <clears throat> go to your eraser take all the hardness all the way down leave it to about kind of the size of your render not too big not too small whatever and then just erase around the Pikachu until it looks yeah that looks better make sure there's none on the render at all now create a new layer <clears throat> image apply image and it just takes basically just do this it's all of these from here to here into one all right then you go to image adjustments gradient map that was pretty cool huh? go to the purple to orange kind of like this now go to soft light there we go get some depth in there put it down to about I'm gonna put it to even 75% alright now new layer image apply image again okay Go to image, adjustments, photo filter, and you don't really want warming, then pretty makes it too orangish. Go to cooling filter 80, like this. Hit OK on that one. Now go back to images, adjustments, gradient map, and yes, we get to use this one, but not like this. Hit reverse, so it looks like this. Hit OK. Also, you can go to soft light, and there you go. Pretty, pretty look, looks pretty good. Just dim it down some so it's not so dark. But 85%. That's better. All right. Now for the most challenging part of everything is your text. Text. It's always the worst thing to find and choose and everything else. It pretty much just sucks. Switch back to black. Six. You can just move it around to whatever you like. Yeah. Check that. Remember when you're downsizing stuff? Hold shift before you start doing it so it doesn't make it all out of proportion. It doesn't look all crappy. Now you can just play around with the blending options on your text. Drop shadow. Bill and Boss gives you the kind of a 3D look, kind of like that. Hit OK. And now, to do something I always do, I always add my site, the site logo that I'm on. I always hide it in my art. I messed that up. Check that. Let's see, bring 
Alex, bring this down. And that looks pretty good. Um, you can find these C4Ds, whatever you want to call renders, and well, renders like Pikachu and stuff. And then you just go to planetrenders.net. As you can see right here, planetrenders.net. And if you want to do, if you want to have uh, competitions and stuff like that. This is the site, hightechmodding.com slash form slash and we have a pretty good graphic section. You can find it. I just passed it. Yeah, here we go, graphics. And we have these things called signature of the week. And you and people show their work and what they've done, like Dark Angel here. This week's theme is uh, video games, and then you have um, True. He does a pretty good job. Mike Admin. Here's mine, the Kirby. Then you have. Oh crap. You have Days. He did Fallout. Dizzy did Iron Man. And then it's back to Dark Angel who did Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. But uh, if you want to sign up here, it's uh, hightechmodding.com slash forms. And just sign up and have fun. Thank you for watching. Oh, fuck up, Arrow, beat the shit out of you. <laughs>